summer trading strategies. Now, as you probably know, if you've been investing for a couple of years, summer is the worst time of the year to trade stocks. But that doesn't mean you can't find some opportunities here. So I just want to talk a little bit statistically why the summer is the worst time of the year for trading stocks. Historically, over the past 64 years, between the months of May and November, the S&P has actually given a negative return over the past six and a half decades. In fact, if you were to invest $10,000 in the S&P 500 six decades ago and you just stay in equities between the months of May and November, you would have actually lost almost 60% of your money, which is actually kind of incredible when you think about how far up the stock market has risen over the past 64 years. If you just stayed in stocks from May 1st to October 31st, you have actually lost 60% uh, of your money. So the really the laziest best strategy in summer months is to just stay in cash. In fact, I talked in a previous video about the six month strategy is that if you just hold stocks between the months of November to the end of April, you have actually tripled your return than just holding stocks throughout uh, 12 months over the past six and a half decades. So, um, you know, simply you can stay in cash. However, it is possible to make money. There are some seasonal trends uh, to make money during the summer. So I did some research on a website called Equity Clock and the two big assets to buy during the summer months if you want to make money are actually treasuries and buying the volatility index. Uh, this makes sense as treasuries and volatility, volatility has an inverse relationship with the stock market. So you, you look at treasuries and some short term treasuries, they don't have great returns. They're not uh, you know, designed to have great returns for short term treasuries. But actually, if you want to go really, really long and look at making some outsized returns, look at zero treasury bond ETFs. And that ETF for the zero treasury ETF is ZROZ. And that's sort of the most aggressive play you can play on treasuries. If you don't know what um, a zero treasury is, basically you buy this treasury at a certain amount and in 30 years you get $1,000. So now let's say you can buy the treasury today for $350 and then 30 years from now you'll get $1,000. Now that doesn't sound like a great return, but when everything else is crashing, when the stock market is crashing, when everything is going down, people just dump money into zeros and zeros will tend to rise uh, because it's like just the safest, securest thing. You could really put your money in as far as a long term place return is concerned. For volatility, you can look at the short term volatility ETF stock symbol VXX. So these are the two sectors that are strong during the summer months. Um, if you want to look at other sectors, that are equities that are strong during the summer months, even though stocks historically go down. There are two of the best performing. I would personally not recommend these, but if you feel like you got you want to park your money in equities during the summer months, you can look at consumer staples and healthcare because these are the two sectors that that seem to. I wouldn't say they perform the best, but they they just they won't lose money <laughs> as as bad as other sectors. So you can look at consumer staples and healthcare. But again, if you do want to make money. I would recommend the Zero Treasury ETF ZROZ and the Short Term Volatility ETF VXX. And if you don't even want to play during the summer, just stay in cash. So that is the best recommendation I have for summer trading strategy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.